Allah says, Ujibu da'wa. I respond to the call. Da'wat da'i idha da'an. Whenever He calls me, I'll answer. Whenever He calls me, I will answer. The ayah began, I'm waiting for you to ask about me. Not, I'm not even waiting for you to talk to me. I'm waiting you, for you to, to ask about me, talk about me. I'm near. And then he goes on to say, you doesn't matter when you call me, I'll answer. Subhanallah. How, who's going to be more important than Allah? And who's going to have a lower status than you and me? And yet Allah says, I'm waiting for you anytime. Anytime. And I will respond immediately. By the way, astajibu qad yakhud waqtan. Astajibu, I'll respond over time. Ujibu, fawran. Immediate, I will immediately respond. Immediately I will respond when he calls me. But there's something that happens in the middle that I want to share with you and I'm done in this particular ayah. This is the gift. This is the gift, this ayah. Allah says, Ujibu da'wat da'i. I respond to the call, the call of the caller. There's a difference between saying, I respond to the call of any caller. As opposed to saying, I respond to the call of the caller. When you say any caller, a caller, is the caller known or not known? Not known. When you say the caller, is the caller known or not known? Known. Allah, how many people calling Allah? So many. He has the, you know, if anybody else, if all of you were asking a question, I would say a, a person asked, because I got a written question, I don't know where it came from. One of the students asked, it's anonymous. Allah says, none of you are anonymous. All of you are not an A, you are a V. You are a V. Allah knows you particularly. I will respond to your call individually. He's not just gonna say, oh, a slave from Texas called, made dua. No, that one, that one right there, he called. He made that dua. It's very particular. That because of the al, ad da'i. Because of ad da'i. Then Allah didn't say, ujibu dua ad da'i. He said, ujibu da'wat ad da'i. This is the, the, it's called a mustar with a tamar buta. Mustar marra, they call it in the Arabic grammar. I will call, even if this guy is not even used to making dua, once in a blue moon out of some crazy thing that happened in his life, he decided to make dua out of by accident. Even that guy, even if he called me one time, da'wata, not dua, dua could be regular, da'wa is one time. Even if he called me one time, I will answer him. So none of us can say, well, I don't even pray, I'm so messed up, Allah is not gonna answer my dua. Allah says, you just try once. Just try me once, I'm waiting. Where are you? And then Allah here, subhanAllah, look at this. Allah said, I respond to the call of the Actually, I should translate, retranslate. I respond to the single call of the what? Caller. Tell me, when you say caller, hey, Ya Allah, Rabbi, caller. Does that mean the caller is a certain standard? Could a caller be a good person or a bad person? Sure. Caller is a caller. A caller could be anybody. Allah didn't say I respond to the call of the righteous one, the worshiping one, the good one the knowledgeable one. He didn't put any conditions on the caller except that he is a caller. So it doesn't matter what stage, what position you have. It doesn't matter how messed up or how good you are. This invitation is open. So long as you are a caller and to Allah, you are not a caller, you are the caller. Even if that's all you ever did. You never made a single act of ibadah in your life. You just decided to turn to Allah once, you still respond. So he adds إِذَا دَعَانِ Whenever he calls him. Whenever, the, whenever he does it. It's up to him. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ